time is a wave. According to the problem, lambda which is equal to h over p, where h is Planck's constant, p is momentum. This implies that h is equal to lambda p. According to Heisenberg, the uncertainty principle, change in change in <coughs> energy times change or uh, uncertainty in time is always greater than or equal to h over uh, four pi. This means the minimum uncertainty in time is change in time. We can now say the minimum change, I mean uh, the minimum uh, uncertainty in time is then going to be h over 4 pi, where again h is still a uh, Planck's constant and this will be times, I mean, change in energy. This also implies that H, which is Planck's constant again, is equal to uh, uncertainty in time, uh, in minimum time, uh, times four pi, times This uncertain, this uh, uh, Planck's constant is the same as that Planck's constant. Therefore, we can equate these two. Therefore, lambda p must be equal to um, t minimum uh, for pi. Uncertainty in the minimum uncertainty in time, minimum uncertainty in time must then be equal to lambda p over 4 pi times this uncertainty in energy. This implies uncertainty in uh, the minimum uncertainty in time is the same as lambda p, lambda represents wavelength, p is momentum, this is change in energy. This means time has a wavelength. Time is directly proportional to uh, wavelength times momentum and inversely proportional to change in energy and we can go further and bring that equation here and say that uh, over 4 pi times uncertainty in energy is equal to uh, uncertainty in minimum time and we, we know that if this entity we are calling uncertainty in time as a wavelength and momentum it must be moving and we know what momentum is then we can say uh, is equal to lambda mv because that is momentum and we know that this is 4 pi and we know that the, it, it, if there is a change in energy and it is in motion, that entity is in motion, then this must be kinetic energy. And so we, the change in energy must be half mv squared. And this would can 
cancel out. Here we would have 1, and here we would have B, and this would cancel out with 2, and so we would then have T mean uh, uncertainty in time is lambda uh, over 2pi times B. In this case, we are saying the uncertainty in time is directly proportional to wavelength and inversely proportional to velocity, which makes a lot of sense. And we could actually carry out um, a dimensional analysis of the units to see if it actually gives us a time unit. So by dimensional analysis, wavelength is measured in units which are length, so that is a meter, and that is divided by the, the velocity here, which is meter per second, and this means uh, this is meter times uh, second over meter, which is second. So by dimensional analysis, this agrees that it is uh, a unit of time as we know it. So time is a wave, which, has, which is directly proportional to its wavelength and inversely proportional to its velocity with a, proportion, a proportionality constant of the reciprocal of 2 pi.